and thank you for being here everyone it's Ryan Bo here and I'm here to clarify as to why I've been absent all this time first of all I have a set of excuses I'm a fourth year well some stuff in my program changed and I have a whole extra year in university before I graduate and the classes are kind of difficult and then there's that time management issue that I've been having. Another set of excuses would involve my other hobbies because I also draw in my spare time that's both traditionally and painting digitally. As for this YouTube channel, it started as an attempt at being a more social person because I'm severely introverted but I'm also training I'm also being trained to be a teacher in middle and high school as you may call it but where I'm from we just call it high school from grades 7 to 11 so in essence I did not expect to gain the amount of subscribers as I have because at this point I have approximately 854 subscribers and I'd like to thank you for your time, your patience, and your support. As for the realities now, you may not know but I do this in my spare time. I know that I rarely communicate and it seems I only become active whenever a new chapter of the Re Reverse Falls game comes out. It's been a nightmare trying to come up with quality content as well as an upload schedule. I'm going to try my best to change that. As for the recording sessions, they have also been a nightmare. As my recording equipment is mediocre, basic at best. My computer for instance, though with a 64-bit OS and 12 gigs of RAM, it has an A6 processor with 1.4 gigahertz processing power that's why many of my gameplays have not been so smooth and then there's the money I don't ask for much and I didn't intend to I'm a full-time student and apart from summer work I don't have a steady job at the moment I thought about starting a patreon but I wanted to offer more than what I'm currently offering in order to do so. If I should start up a Patreon, the proceedings would go towards paying for better recording equipment and a better video editing software because I started out with Cyberlink Power Director. 10. It was the trial edition. Well, first it was the edition that came with the computer I had before this. But then I got the trial edition for Power Director 15. And then that expired. So then I switched to Shotcut. And it's okay, but I'd like to do better. I still promise to cast voices for chapter 1 of Reverse Falls when it comes out, so here's how we're going to do it. For the character you would like to voice, send me a 40 second to a minute and a half audio file of you voicing the said character from the represented shows. When I say represented shows, you know the game has characters from more than one series which is kinda trippy. But then you have that Mothman character. <sighs> so when you have that audio file of that said character, you can send the audio file to me with your YouTube with your YouTube name and preferably a URL to the email provided in the description below. So the hot characters are Mabel, Pacifica, perhaps Seuss, etc. 
When each character through submissions have at least two to three submissions each or if I have 25 submissions total covering all the characters, I'll compile the submissions into a particular video that I would upload at a later time and you as the audience will choose the best set of voices for comparison. May the best set of voices win. Also, if there is a specific type of video I can begin to release on this channel, let me know in the comment section below. Because you see, I'm shy, so allow me to develop some courage over time. And once again, it has been me, Ryanbo, and I'd like to thank you. If you'd like to communicate with me outside of YouTube, the social media sites that I'm normally on frequently to not so frequently would also be provided in the description below. And I bet you're wondering what's been happening at this point. Which game is that? Well, the game that you're currently seeing as I'm doing this voiceover is called Hitogochi. You'd have seen it at the very beginning but I decided not to mention it until now. You see. I'm 23 and when I was in, I call it primary school, I too used to have one of those, we used to call them Tamagotchis, they were digital pets, we'd get, we'd buy one, it would feel like a pet to us, we'd take care of it, we'd feed it, we'd wake it, we'd play with it, but for me, mine would always die. Maybe it's because at the time I was, I was, also, I was also into Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but then there's that. But I'm not into them anymore. But anyway, I thought the concept for this game was particularly interesting because you are the monster. You get a caretaker. You're communicating with the caretaker and your choices depend on how well the relationship grows over. I believe it's a period of one week. And as the monster, you either end up eating your host or she ends up liking you even though you're a monster. And I thought that was really cute and I have not gone through all of the routes but for the game I made sure I went through the worst possible route I could and the best possible route I could based on how the questions or the situations were phrased to me but at this point I'm just yammering along so if you're interested in seeing the rest of the video I'll stop at this point and I'd like to thank you for listening and I'll see you again real soon.